my name is Steve. Uh, I have problems with anger manage, managing my anger. I get very upset over littlest things. I'm trying to keep control of it now when I go down the wrong side of the road. I'm just controlling it right now. I'm trying to behave myself, stay out of trouble. You ever homeless? Uh, yes, I was. You got family? Uh, yes, I do. Do they want to have anything to do with you? No. Uh, right now my wife is in, in prison too down in Norwich, so that's starting to fall apart too, my marriage. Can I tell you a story? Can I tell you a story? Yeah. I get the more. I get the more. I get the more. No more. My name's Teddy, and this is my story, briefly. I'm a product of a father who was a ch ch serial child molester. My name's Tavern Knight. I'm from Westport, Connecticut. I'm a pimp. A horror monger, a thief, a manipulator, an utterly without conscience or moral value. I will do whatever I have to to get what I want. And I'm going to tell you my story. My name is Tara. I am an alcoholic. I am spoken, insecure unresponsible. I am the mother of five children who have abandoned them. I have no idea where they are. I pursued my own wants over my children. Looking for love in all the wrong places. And I want to tell my story. At a young age, sent out to the world. Mother passed away when I was 13. A life of drugs and crime. And came to a place in my life where that was all I knew, where it became comfortable and acceptable to me. I'm now at night. I'm a high school. I'm now at night. I'm a high school dropout. I'm an abandoned child. I murdered two children through abortion. A drug dealer, a drug user. I'm indifferent to the outcome. I want to tell you my story. Why do you want to tell me your story? You can't do it alone. Why do you want to tell your story? There's other kids out there I know that have been through things that I've been through. And they can't do it alone just like I couldn't. And it took people to reach out to me to even know I couldn't do it alone. Before that, I was all about that. My name is Jamie Patrick Beacom. I was adopted. It's James Patrick Godso. 
I go by Jameson. I was a drug dealer. I was adopted. I've been to 35 different foster homes. I was raped. I was molested. I robbed. I beat people severely. I used to rob anybody. I was a blood. And I want to tell you my story. My name is Andrew Paris. Um, I was born in New York, Bronx, New York, raised in New Haven. Um, I was abandoned by my father. I was homeless for two and a half months. I had a lot of hatred, anger. I didn't like anyone. I hated everyone. I loved no one. And I, I just despised the world. I thought no one cared about me. You know, I was trying to be a tough guy on the streets, and I wasn't. I was trying to pretend to be someone I wasn't. And what did you pretend to be? I tried to pretend to be a street thug when I was not a street thug at all. What were you doing as a street street thug? I was just hanging out with the wrong crew. I was smoking a lot of weed. You know, I drank here and there, and I was just getting in the back crowds, and that wasn't me at all. And I just want to share my story. You so you, you do want to reconnect with your father? Yes. You think your father wants to reconnect with you? Yes. Why do you want me to tell your story? I want you to I want you to tell my story because I want other other youth to know what what it means to start from the bottom and you can make it all the way to the top. I was once a <clears throat> cheater, a liar, a deceiver, and a manipulator. My name's Jeremy. People call me Alabama as my nickname, because that's where I'm from. I had abandoned my wife, abandoned my kids for, for love that basically did not want to have anything to do with me. And the day that I arrived here in Connecticut, I, uh, I didn't know what to do. I was lost. I didn't know nobody. I had no money, had no shelter. I was walking around thinking that my life was over. And I came across a police officer that asked where I could get shelter from directed me to where to go on Grand Avenue for the uh, shelter. I fell for somebody that didn't want to be with me. I left my family, left my wife, kids, and I just want to tell my story. Because being absent of a heart and feelings and accountability, I became product of sin and just self-driven destruction of no care of consequences and no desire to change and my place is to tell you that you're not alone and there's freedom in expression and I'd like to share my story and my name is Teddy.